Your job of helping customers doesn't stop as soon as you're done talking to them. It also involves passing on the important feedback they gave to the right owners and doing everything you can to implement it. Hi, I'm Raghav from the Freshdisk Academy. Today, we're going to talk about ways to communicate customer feedback to the right teams. Send them an email. I know this sounds simple, but a lot of times we ping the owners on Hangouts or Slack, or we just walk up to the right person to convey the feedback that was received. It would be hard for them to switch context from whatever they're doing to understand the feedback. But with emails, they can open it whenever they have time and reply to you asking for more details if necessary. Set up dashboards. Showcase the major complaints, issues, and compliments from customers to the entire company. Categorize them into themes like feature requests, customer experience problems, miscommunication, and more. Highlight the top problems within each theme. Owners like product managers, UX designers, and marketers will get a clear idea on what customers like and dislike and tweak their work accordingly. Use forums. Set up forums where customers can explain their use cases and problems, upvote requests, and comment on ideas. The owners will get to hear from customers firsthand on what is important to them. Tag issues with the right keywords. If you're using a help desk to support customers, tag tickets with keywords and also include the owners in the conversation with the customer. This way, when the owner needs more intel to solve this problem, they can just pull up the tickets with the corresponding tags. All hands-on support. If the owners get a chance to support customers periodically, the communication gap between the support teams and the problem owners will be removed. Even when your company becomes too big for an all hands-on support model, a selected group of people can still continue this approach. This way, customers' needs will always remain the first priority. Do the groundwork. By the time the feedback for a project is taken to the owners, they would have moved on to the next project. You can help them out by doing the groundwork like gathering more use cases, setting up customer research calls, and more. Become co-owners. Each person in support can take up one feature or theme in the product and become an expert in both the feature and support cases related to it. This way, knowledge about a particular theme is not scattered across multiple people. It becomes easier for owners to include one expert in their meetings as opposed to picking the brains of everybody in the support team. Knowing which feedback is truly beneficial and passing them on will add more credibility to your ideas. And remember to pass on the good feedback too. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. And also, let us know in the comments section about the methods you use to communicate customer feedback. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video comes out. So until next time, goodbye and happy supporting.